I'm happy to be here this morning, as is the President of the Togolese Republic, Monsieur Four Natsingbe, for the official handing over ceremony of the Nupe Akanu Joint Border Post. Speaking on both our behalves, I can say with full confidence that the Ghanaian and Togolese peoples are grateful to the ECOWAS Commission and the European Union for their assistance in the construction of this joint border post. For a region whose activities, whose economic activities are characterized by low volumes of intra-regional trade, this project is certainly a welcome development. It should strengthen the movement of peoples, goods and services, increase intra-regional trade, reduce trade and logistics costs, improve cross-border security, and serve as an avenue for information sharing. Additionally, with this border post fisted with way bridges, baggage and pedestrian scanners, and state-of-the-art ICT equipment, joint inspections, sharing of intelligence, and joint risk management initiatives, should reduce substantial processing times along the border. Whilst reaping the benefits of this post, Ghana and Togo should also be mindful of and be poised to address any challenges that may arise, notably the maintenance of law and order, dealing with cross-border crimes, smuggling, and other related issues. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, today's ceremony is a result of the signing on 26 July 2017 of the Bilateral Agreement and Operating Procedures Manual between Ghana and Togo, which govern the joint operations and management of this border post. This agreement has made some extensive provisions on institutional mechanisms, and management arrangements, such as the formation of a joint committee, the establishment of a management authority to determine the administrative measures necessary for managing the joint border post, provision and control of security services, and maintaining the facilities. We must collaborate to address all difficulties within the confines of the bilateral agreement so as to ensure that this joint border post provides a higher level of service than the current arrangements at Aflao and Kojovia Kopi. Ghana and Togo stand ready to support and promote all efforts aimed at ensuring the success of the management of this joint border post and to strengthen the bonds of cooperation and friendship between our two countries. We believe it is in our economic interest for this project to succeed. For with hard work, creativity and enterprise, it should create sufficient opportunities 
to enhance the prosperity of our people. Indeed, the time has come for West African integration, a functioning common regional market in ECOWAS has to be a very fundamental objective for all the peoples of governments in the region, an objective that must consolidate the process of structural transformation of our national economies on which we must all be engaged. The ECOWAS Commissioner, I've been told, has planned the execution of similar common border projects elsewhere in West Africa. We can only hope for their speedy implementation. ECOWAS must help establish the conditions of West African prosperity in the decades ahead. I commend once again the ECOWAS Commission and the European Union and everyone involved in bringing us today. You have the gratitude of the Ghanaian and Togolese peoples.